And now the district plans to offer a series of new educational models next fall. So we're allowing parents to have an opportunity to choose between in-person or virtual learning and to make those plans early. Harford County's Office of Curriculum, Instruction and Assessment says it's doing what families want. As we began to open our schools and allow students back into our buildings for instruction, um, we did have parents who still um, expressed the concern of their students staying home. Here's what's being offered for the fall. The traditional five-day-a-week in-person instruction for students in grades K through 12 at 53 of the district's 54 schools. A second option, offered at the Center for Educational Opportunity, will have a virtual learning program for K through 12 students. A third option offers a blended virtual in-person program for middle and high school students, two days in person, two days from home. We have a double monitor system so they can have multiple screens going at the same time. The school system says the goal is to offer students flexible options and says it's prepared to bring more staff on board based on fall student registration. And when the shutdown happened, um, the gears kind of shifted a little bit and then we started also looking to incorporate a 100% virtual blended uh, learning program. The State Department of Education needs to sign off on the plan before the district can move ahead. As the district rolls out this program, it wants to pass along some of the basics to families. To find out more about the program, go to our WBAL-TV 11 News app. In Aberdeen, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.